Hey everybody, welcome. Today we are going to pod school. We're going to talk about the three different types of respawn pods. What they have, what they offer, <coughs> why you might choose one over the other. Let's get to it. First and foremost, the planetary respawn pod. If you spawn on a planet with atmosphere, you will drop out of space looking through a viewport much like this. If we go into the control panel, we can see we have an antenna, four atmospheric thrusters, a hydrogen thruster, one battery, one beacon, several lights, four different landing gear, an H2O2 generator, ore detector, parachute hatch, passenger seat, smart, small cargo container, survival kit, and timer block. If we go into the inventory of this particular vehicle, the passenger seat will have a weapon and some ammo and typically a data pad showing the nearest economy station. The H2 generator is going to have two bottles and some ice and parachutes in the parachute hatch. If you grind this thing down completely to nothing, you will get the following wonderful items. 16 computers and so on. There's a survival kit in here. <coughs> now this does show 20 power cells, but understand that that will probably be 20 scrap as you grind batteries. They give you scrap back and not power cells. So that's something to bear in mind. There are eight metal grids here. Um, yeah, just a small number of small steel tubes. And if you remember from block school, these need to be made with the basic assembler. So this is what you get. What most people will typically do is grind away everything except this battery. Uh, trying to keep this battery hot, if you will. And then you can build things like a remote control and move the gyroscope onto here and all that sort of stuff. And you can uh, actually fly that around a little bit. But that's not quite what today's about. This is the planetary pod and all the wonderful and lovely stuff in it. All right. Now, if you spawn on a moon, you get the moon pod, which is super, super similar. You see we've even got the atmospheric thrusters on here, even though there's no really great reason for those to be on there. But this has a cockpit and some lights, spotlights instead. Oh, and the wheels. And you can drive this bad guy around. So looking in the inventory, same sort of thing. More ice, though, because you're expected to need more oxygen. And the control panel here, as mentioned, we've got the atmosphere thruster, still the hydrogen thruster. Same lights, you know, it's basically the same pod, except we have wheels instead of uh, landing gear, and we're sitting in a cockpit. If you grind this bad mabajama down, you get these items. Um, considerably more tubes. Really more of everything. We'll maybe do a head-to-head -head comparison there. But, um, yeah, a little bit better deal than the other pod. Now, one quick trick on this one. If you are careful and smart, you can boost this guy off of the moon, Luna, onto Earth, Earth-like. And uh, then you'll have this vehicle on Earth. All right, if you spawn just in space, you get this guy. This is the space pod very obviously much bigger it has a pressurized interior it's large block obviously and um let's take a look we've got basically the same sort of stuff two bottles we have no parachutes on this guy um and again there should be a data pad in the flight seat with the um nearest economy station i just have economy turned off on the server We've got an air vent, two big old batteries, some lights, gyroscope. This is a large grid gyroscope, so it requires considerably more materials. Hydrogen engine, ion thrusters, which again, this is a top tier item, and there's several of them on here. A generator, tank, those mentioned doors. And a small cargo container. So this is this is reasonably well equipped. If we go and grind this guy down, it actually takes a large container just to hold it all. You see we have 1,900 steel plates, 800 thruster components. Still the same three um, medical comps, but 287 small steel tubes. You could use these materials to build the other pods several times over. 
<coughs> also, here on this power cells, we've got 160. You're only going to get, or that are going to get scrapped. You're only going to get one back. The one that comes out of the uh, H2 or hydrogen generator, the generator that consumes hydrogen to give you power, you will get that back if you grind it. All the rest of these would be scrapped. Um, I have seen people experiment with trying to crash land one of these on a planet and it's not easy because again the ion thrusters quit working in the atmosphere so you will hit the ground at top speed i've seen things like with long rod big old long rod of, of uh, metal blocks which you can attach to the front um you know uh, there's also some really great videos on youtube about how to customize this coming out of the gate and get yourself a little bit better head start but that's it. Those are the three pods. You've got your planetary pod, you got the upgraded version in the moon pod, and then you've got the big Mamma Jamma with that tasty, tasty gyroscope. Look at this. One large grid gyroscope. 50 metal grids. 600 steel plates. That is most of the mass of the thing right there. Nearly so. Anyway, that's it. That's pod school if you're considering a survival start and you're not sure which pod to pick. Hopefully that helps.